Okay, so when we play solo guitar, we won't be always playing with a swung feel. We're going to also be playing some other grooves. Of course, playing bossa or samba grooves are fun. Um, the only problem is when we start playing one of these grooves, it can be tricky to get in and out of them. So we, let's take a tune like one note samba and do what we were doing here earlier where we're making sure that there's a clear melody note on top of all the chords. But at the same time now, we're going to try to keep a groove going between our bass note with our thumb, index and middle finger for the rest of the chord. So if I were to just play a basic pattern here, that's over my D minor chord, and take that through the chord changes to one note samba, I've got Samba, Bossa Nova, the tendency for us to double the bass is very common on guitar where we would go like this. And we want to be careful because if we really listen to authentic Samba or Brazilian music, I'd really recommend you go check out a guitarist like Nelson Faria, who Nelson is an expert in this and he also has a lot of cool little things you can you can check out online about him. But um, he, the first thing he talks about is don't double your bass. Keep your bass grooved for us in America when we think about a bar of 4-4 four, four on beats 1 and 3, or if you're thinking about it in a traditional samba pattern, it would be beats 1 and 2, which is cut time. So, boom, 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 boom. So my thumb is always boom. So now the melody to one note samba is Okay, so let's add the melody to the top of the chords here. I'm going to use my ring finger and my middle finger to get the syncopation of the melody. I'm going to try to keep a bass groove as best I can and make the chord switching happen in a way that anticipates each measure, anticipates the beat and helps kind of create this nice groove here. I'm playing from the joint of the finger, so we should take a pit stop here for a second and remind ourselves when we're practicing our scales like we did earlier, we really want to practice making our joint operate so that that's the muscle we're using in our whole hand to get the sound out of the guitar so it sounds nice and fat. Because if it sounds thin, the chord's going to be too boomy and it's going to sound like this. using more of the tips of our fingers compared to try that a couple more times and you can watch again I'm not trying to double the bass I'm trying to keep the groove going anticipated with my first finger my middle finger and switching between my middle finger and my ring finger to syncopate the melody one two uh, 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 one two three mm. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
using some left hand squeeze the chord it creates extra syncopation with the left and the right hand so what would it sound like if I were to do a take of this song that's the head um, if I start with some soloing okay because again the goal here is that we want it to groove we want to keep the pulse happening but we can't unless we have another hand here we can't keep the comping going underneath the melody or underneath our solo line all the time we end up kind of being in a bit of a call and response um, so here's what my approach would be. I'm going to do a chorus of soloing, and then I'll go back to a chorus of the melody. And the goal is going to be to keep the groove happening as best I can, play a little bit of bass with the thumb, keep melody notes and single lines going with ring, middle, sometimes first finger, and the chord, and make sure I'm not over syncopating or, um, you know, making it, uh, taking away from the groove necessarily. So right on the solo. One, a two, a one. to keep the groove happening, going between playing some of the samba pattern and then getting back into the quote chord melody, making sure that that melody note is really clear on top. If I hadn't practiced with a lot of independence in the right hand, it would be really hard for me to get those melody notes really clear. So that's why it's important to practice your scale work like we were doing in some of the earlier videos. Practice playing chord voicings on very specific string sets, just a couple notes, a couple shell voicings, and really focusing on connecting your thumb, your middle, and index, um, and getting a nice pull with your fingers so that you're not playing on the on the tips of your of your fingers with that. So that's some that's some tips when you're playing with a samba or a groove pattern to make sure that you're you're um, you're playing uh, with a really nice full sound. <laughs> 